Hello, today we are going to take a look at this absolutely beautiful Victron DC power in distribution block. It is continuation of project that I started over a year ago and you can check my past video about this Lynx shunt. And we've got continuation of that with this distribution board that's got exactly the same connector and can be chain into larger system so it is directly related recently i observed price drop on amazon and here you've got the model number and we are going to do unboxing so we've got the quick installation guide this is how it presents and we've got the sticker just in case you would be to mount it like uh, in a reverse direction so you can put that sticker on top and it's going to be fixing your issue and let's take a look how does it presents and yes it's present absolutely beautiful this is exactly what you would like to see you might ask yourself why i was waiting like one year to purchase it and that's because it was on bottom of my priority list. And in my personal opinion, it is a very expensive product and you can go into hardware store and purchase piece of copper and create bus bar like this for a fraction of cost. But it looks absolutely amazing with the Lynx system. So it create a nice ecosystem and why I decided to purchase it. From simple reason, most likely this is going to be the only device I will ever need and I will never uh, replace it. And that's from simple reason because the only thing I can upgrade in my DC system, it's go from like 12 volt to 24 or 48, or I can add more amps and that's everything. And it is a 1000 amp so there is no technical way of me ever need to upgrade it so i believe it will last forever so let's take a look this is how it present in compare to hand on this distributor you've got led indicators that are going to show you that fuse is blown here we do not have place for fuses and that's because you should add fuse next to your battery and here is the place where you can join your devices together and of course we are going to take a look here we've got the silicon protection so you can chain other device in front like you can add a second one for example if you've got more batteries this is positive and negative so both wires are going to be coming through it and here is the model number just in case you would be interested let's take a look we are going to be nicely removing our cover and let's see what we've got inside here we've got of course nothing on the dc distributor out we've got indicator for fuses here we do not have fuses and here is your positive bus bar using the m8 screw and on bottom here is your negative one so you've got your negative wire you put that divider and here goes your positive absolutely beautiful and clever design and of course that you are going most likely to break out to fit your wire and this is how it presents so now we should join our two items together and we are going to see what's going to happen that side is input in our configuration so let's remove the protection i definitely believe it's going to be worth keeping it maybe i will stuff it somewhere inside we've got those screw so it is absolutely beautiful here you most likely lift it up 
and we are just going to connect them together. So let's let me find a key and I'm going to be using 13 millimeters. Of course, you need a insulated wrench, but since we are totally disconnected, then we've got absolutely no problem and it looks great. We've got that copper washer. Quite interesting. I believe we should go like this. So let me undo it. And let's join them together and that silicone will go into that slot and it will create a beautiful seal. Just take a look at this. That was a very clever design. As it's going to press, it will make a seal. Absolutely beautiful. That one is to prevent from undoing on its own. So I assume we go like this. And just take a look and tell me how does it present and whether it was worth the money. Let me join them together. And do not pay attention to that fuse. Of course, I will put a correct one. And in my personal opinion, it presents great. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.